I'm going to walk you through in this video step by step to check your cleaner to get it working if you find it not moving at the bottom of your pool. It's a pretty basic video. I'm going to, I, I'll do everything that I normally would do when I get to a stop if the cleaner's not working. And again, I also have specific playlists for your type of cleaner. You want to check the mouth of the cleaner to make sure there's no debris stuck in there. That's, that's the first place to look. And you can see this G2 has a uh, branch stuck in there. And I'll take it out and that should get it moving. And that solved the problem. So that's the first place you want to look is the cleaner's mouth itself. Again, here's another cleaner that wasn't working and I'll pull out what was in there. And you can see there's a uh, some kind of seed pot in there. So the cleaners do have limitations on what kind of debris they can pick up. The canister, check it to make sure it's not full. This one here is pretty full. I'm going to go ahead and pull it out. And it's pretty basic. If the canister is full, it's not going to be able to pull water through the system. So you want to clean those out. Once the canister is cleaned out, the cleaner should move again. No problem. I also have a whole uh, video playlist on the Polaris pressure side cleaner. This one here is not working and I've checked all the wheels and everything and I'm pretty sure that the quick, quick disconnect right here is failing. I can actually hear the water. So more than likely this is a problem. I'm going to change it. So I replaced the quick disconnect and I got the uh, Polaris moving again. And again you can check out the playlist I have for the Polaris cleaner to fix various problems if the Polaris is not moving. So another thing that could be the problem is your filter pressure could be too high. So make sure you have your cleaner filtered regularly. If the gauge is up here in 30 or 40, more than likely the cleaner is not going to work. So make sure the filter pressure is good. You can backwash it or clean it. And make sure your pump basket is clean. If this is clogged up, the cleaner is not going to work if it's not pulling the water through well. And if you have your cleaner on a side port, definitely check the valve to make sure it's got proper adjustment. Sometimes these are loose and someone will hit it and it'll get out of adjustment. So make sure it's tightened down also. And once again, you might not be the original owner of the cleaner, but most of them came with some kind of adjuster when you bought the, when the cleaner was purchased. You can go to your local pool store and try to borrow one. I carry several in my truck and I can test it for customers. And it basically fits on the hose going into the wall or the skimmer and it'll give you a reading of the suction. Go online for your specific cleaner, look at the PDF owner's manual, it'll tell you where you want your cleaner. I believe the Zodiac wants it between two and three, so this one's near the limit with the cleaner. And again, if you're not achieving enough suction, it won't work properly. You also want to check your hoses for any obvious air leaks or rips. You just pull, up, pull your hose out of the pool while it's running and kind of just pull it towards you. And if you hear any air leaks, you know you have a hose that has a crack in it. So again, you just want to check that also. That could also cause your cleaner not to move if a hose is no good. You also want to check your hose for any debris that might be stuck in there. You can do this by pulling it apart one by one from the front of the cleaner and working your way back. And a cleaner can be on or off during that process. If you have more experience, leave it on. If not, you can turn it off and pull each individual hose out and inspect it. So what happens when you have a suction leak? The pool can't pull the extra 30 feet of water. So I'm going to go ahead and unplug it from here. And you'll see right away it's going to pick up and start pulling the water really good from the skimmer and actually come back from the return line really good. You can see the water in the pump. So that's what happens when you have a suction leak. You just can't, your pump can't pull that water that distance. So if you have an automatic cleaner and it's not running, that's probably the culprit right there. When I plug it back in, it's gonna actually lose suction. It's gonna work for a little bit, and then you're gonna see over here at the pump, I'm already losing its suction. Because the air is interfering with it, the ability for the pump to pull the water. And so again, if you have that symptom with your 
cool cleaner. Go ahead and check for any kind of leaks and also check the o-ring. I think this one, even though it has a suction leak, it's probably the o-ring also causing the problem. So even though this one has a suction leak here, I think it's the o-ring that's actually causing the problem. So I'm going to change it and see if that fixes it. It's a pretty old pump. I can see the o-ring is really dry. It's just actually even missing a chunk. That's definitely what's causing the cleaner not to do that. And you also have the same symptom if you go to vacuum your pool. You won't have enough suction because of the air leak. I'm going to put the new one in there and I'm going to lube it up real quick. I'm using my magic loop here. You don't really need to lube it uh, that much. But in this case, I'm going to go ahead and give it an extra lube just to give it a good seal. It's a good idea to lube your rings up. That way they don't get damaged when you remove the lid off and on. They'll stretch over time. Okay, so by changing the O-ring, the filter gauge has gone up. And you can see the cleaner is actually moving really good now in the pool. So I've got some good movement. And that's a very common problem that you run into with your pool cleaner. Your pool has to pull an extra 30 or 40 feet of water. If there's any kind of air leak, it just can't do it. Okay, if your cleaner is hooked up in the skimmer, it may pop out, which is very common. Uh, this thing will pop out, and you'll see it floating with the hose. And you may need a wall, and you may need a back locking bar to hold it in. I'll show you how that works. And also make sure when you install it in the skimmer, if you are the original owner, if not, I should have this adapter. Oops, most of the cleaners come with this. This go actually goes in the hole right there, and that'll seal it so that the various skimmer adapters will actually work effectively. If you don't have this part, you may not get the right suction because it'll be sitting in there and it'll, there'll be room around the sides for water to actually get through. This is actually made by Pentair from the Creepy Crawler, but it works on all the cleaners. Basically what you need to do is stick this in here and put the hose through it. I'll show you real quick. And I have a video on my channel regarding this particular adapter, but basically you just put it in, put the hose in there, and you wedge it to where it locks the skimmer adapter down in your skimmer and that way when the pool turns off it won't pop out and float. You also want to make sure the skimmer adapter has the right amount of flow for your cleaner. They're all adjustable. You can increase and decrease the flow in various ways. The Zodiac one is more automatic where it'll open up and self-adjust the flow.